and we are presenting on Dorothy Aram, The Self-Care Theory. Dorothy Aram was the embodiment of a nurse who joined the profession to improve her patient's life. She became a leading nurse theorist through her self-care theory of nursing, which will be explored further in this presentation. Dorothy was born in Baltimore, Maryland, and graduated from Secton High School in 1931. She then attended the Provident School of Nursing in Washington, D.C., earned valuable experience in the operating room, adult, medical, surgical, and pediatric units. Interestingly, two of her aunts work at the hospital making her interest seem more like a family affair at the John Hopkins Medical Institution. She continued her studies to earn a bachelor's in nursing and master's in nursing education from the Catholic University. After earning her bachelor's, Aram began to teach biology and nursing at the Provenance School and became the director of the Provenance School of Nursing that was based in Detroit after earning her master's. She was involved heavily in teaching, research, administrative practices throughout her career. She was often described by many as a gentle soul who had a unique ability to synthesize, analyze, and conceptualize the meaning and implication of other professional contributions. She was known as a collaborative and worked well with others to present a scholarly approach to whatever aspect was being considered. In 1971, the edition of her book, Nursing Concept in Practice, was the foundation of her theory known as the self-care deficit nursing theory. The self-care deficit nursing theory. Oren's general theory of nursing is referred to as self-care deficit nursing theory. The theory comprises three minor theories. The theory of self-care, the theory of self-deficit, and the theory of nursing systems. Oren's believed that practical nursing involved clear specification for nurses and patients' rule that clearly explained the what, why, who, and how of care. The theory of self-care focuses on activities that people perform for themselves to develop and maintain themselves and keep from health deterioration. The self-care deficit theory explains why a person is unable to provide care to themselves due to limitations or incapacity. Nursing system theory is centered on self, on the relationship between the nurse and client and the nursing system and educative supportive between the nurse and the patient. The self-care theory. Self-care is a set of practices performed by an individual to maintain their life and well-being. Self-care must be learned and deliberately performed. The theory encourages that the patient be enabled as much as possible. Orem explained that in self-care acts, the person must first approximate and investigate what can be done and what should be done in specific care cases. After that, a decision of what can be done and finally the action must be taken. Application of self-care theory. The theory requires evaluating the nursing process to determine the deficit in self-care to define the role of both patient and the nurse. The first step is to assess the patient and collect data in six areas of health status, physician's perspectives, patient perspectives, patient requirements for self-care, and the patient's ability to perform self-care. The nurse then designs a system that will deliver care to the patient using a supportive, educative, and compensatory approach. Consequently, this will help determine what the patient requires and apply a combination of methods to compensate for self-care deficit. The theory of self-care can, can also be applied to nurses themselves. A study by your nurse emphasizes that self-care is vital for both patients and nurses. Nurses who, who take time to practice self-care by proper diet, adequate level of sleep, activities level and activities level to enhance their psychological and emotional health, which translate into offering better care to patients. Relevance in current times. The theory has enabled a more holistic approach to patient care. The self-care theory has cultivated a form of care where the patient is encouraged to maintain autonomy and determine what assistance is needed. In recent times, the theory has been put into practice in the control of the COVID-19 pandemic. It has encouraged self-care by social distancing, 
hygiene practices, and sanitization. The theory also employ educational support by encouraging healthcare regarding the SARS virus and its spread. Particularly, compensatory method includes the management of isolation, separation of personal items, and mask wearing. Total compensatory method include comprehensive care and high complex care. An important aspect of self-care theory is that it encourages patients and the public to engage in acts that preserve their health. Offering assistance to patients after determining their needs help in the recovery process and encourages a faster return to health. And this concludes the end of our presentation. Thank you.